Welcome to Verbal Pig Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. Look, we getting ready to get into this 2017. We're at the end of 2016, so, you know, we have to keep up with the knowledge and, and things that are going on uh, so that we can be prepared as we venture into this uh, upcom- this new upcoming year with a new mind. Now, uh, over the holiday season, um, I'm watching a, watching a video game. I'm watching the children playing this new video game, which is called Watch Dog 2. Now, in Watch Dog 2, the guy is in Chicago, and they have a police force with weapons, and they're entering by this uh, theater. And the captions and on top of the, the, the theater, uh, it has the wording that says, The Great Chicago Blackout. And it dawned on me, why would you have it set in theater form on top of a theater, which is saying that this is what's being played. The movie that is being played out is the uh, Great Chicago Blackout. So when I turn on the uh, news, they were talking about how, uh, how the police are not, um, how can I say, they're not responding to the calls of the citizens in Chicago and more murders are happening and the police are not uh, coming to the aid. It's like they hear a police call and the police don't respond. And then they had one individual was explaining the fact that the only thing the police has to do, he said, was show up on the scene but doesn't have to get out and make any arrests and actually get involved. All that they uh, really has to do is go and assess the situation. And so the rise of violence has went up in Chicago. They were saying due to the lack of, uh, not saying police presence, but police involvement within the community. And I'm like, is this purposely done? What's, What's actually going on here? Are they saying that preparing preparing the people for a outside organization group such as Blackwater or somewhat to come in and deal with Chicago? Are they creating a um, uh, something for us planting a seed in your subconscious? We uh, have children playing these video games of war. And the caption, uh, written in bold letters, the great Chicago blackout. Because a lot of times they give you hints and glimpse of what's to come within their movies. So it just done throwing me and I wanted to, uh, you know, just speak on that. Because it kind of disturbed me, you know, especially all the work uh, that the minister's doing in Chicago. And uh, and as Brother Abdul Razak uh, was telling me that the CHI in Chicago was actually about the chi within a... Uh, 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 comparing that to the, the energy or the grid that Chicago sits on, uh, the chi and the frequency is high. You know, uh, it's one of those uh, um, uh, one of those places where uh, energy flows heavily uh, in that area uh, uh, from the grid or the positioning of Chicago or the chi, and that's why they call it Chicago. Is what he was uh, explaining to me, and so it dawned on me that. That would be the place uh, where, uh, not saying the battle of souls, but the the positive, meaning Chicago, positive energy united uh, 
can change the whole dynamics of this system. And so, of course, then Chicago would be under uh, what we call a tag uh, from diverting people's minds and attentions uh, from uh, positive thinking and building or the upliftment or rise of a people. Uh, and then, but you do have uh, the NOI who is fighting every day to keep. Uh, that balance or to keep the forward push of of um, progress, knowledge, understanding, and wisdom uh, to serve as a system that will uh, keep people uh, at a erect level or a living perpendicular to this earth to build and create something that's beneficial for the masses of our people. So what have you now is, since they understand that, they want total control of Chicago, thinking that they can take that seat and and can uh, send out uh, their waves or control the people from that powerful point uh, on this planet, but it's not going to work. You know, so uh, when I see all these subliminal messages attacking Chicago and they're trying their best to get the people uh, to turn their backs on Chicago so they can go in and implement whatever plan that they have for that city, uh, you know, it, it's starting to come out. If you notice lately, you're going to hear a lot, a lot about Chicago. They demonizing Chicago. But uh, people in Chicago, you all need to wake up and understand who you are and what role are you playing in this thing or what role will you be played or what role that they have uh, put you in so you can play it. They play their game instead of playing your own game. But uh, it was just interesting. In the video game on Xbox One, uh, Watch Dog 2, uh, the great Chicago blackout. And it's set up uh, with just total chaos and gunfire. And I mean, it's crazy, you know. So definitely, uh, you all be on the lookout. if you have that game, um, Watch Dog 2, uh, just, uh, check it out and see how they plant seeds in your subconscious to have you desensitized because you already played it out in your mind. You already played it out within this video game. Now all they have to do is come implement it in the physical form. They're preparing you for it. But if you are awake, and if you're an awake person, you can say, hey, wait a minute. These lives matter. These black lives matter. These children's lives matter. The, these mothers and these fathers' lives matter. We want you all to help the minister and aid him in putting all this back together. Why don't the governor, the city, the police department, bag the nation's program too if you truly say you want to end the violence in Chicago then bag the nation everybody get on board and help and, and put put your time your money your effort into the program to create peace in Chicago instead of uh you know pointing at the problem but doing nothing to solve the problem or those who make money off the problem and feel like it wouldn't be in their best interest to help or say those scavengers or those uh, or the greed to where uh, we can make, they want to make parts of it desolate so they can move in and get the real estate and whatnot. You know, we time out for all that in 2017. 
life should be about the building of humanity because there's enough on this planet for everyone to enjoy the creation or things that the creator created on this planet for your enjoyment and your study. And that's how you lead into peace. So on the Chicago issue, and in Houston, you got a lot of brothers down here in Houston from Chicago. I done met in good people. And you can see the... uh, the Mississippians and what 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 and and one study that I read was talking about how the a lot of the old mix crossed the uh, Mississippi River and from Mississippi and went up into Chicago of old mix descent. You know, so when 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 it, when two generations pass and they come back to Houston, Texas, which was a part of Mexico, which the old mix had the oldest civilization in Mexico. So when they come back to Texas, it's like the energy is like, damn, that's my brother, that's my sister. You feel it as though that they from here, but really it's just that that DNA or that genetic coding from the old mix. And you coming back home when you come uh, this part. But the old mix did travel uh, throughout this nation. You know, I'm just simply saying that there's a strong uh, Texas, Mexico, Chicago tie, you know, that needs to be studied. So, anyway, this is Verbal Pick Radio. We out.